So why do straight guys like trans girls? Uh, I think. Hang on a second here. I gotta check my screen. What is it saying to me? Okay. I think the reason why straight girls like trans girls uh, is is that taboo, the taboo ex aspect to it, and and the sexual freedom. Um, so coming home and there's a trans girl who lives next door to me and she was wearing like, it looked like a dominatrix outfit or something like that. But this girl is a bombshell, right? She's tall. She's got legs that go from the earth to the sky. You know, like, she's clearly gone the extra mile. And that's one of the things about it is that I think guys like is that we, we do go the extra mile. Like when, when guys are attracted to us, uh, I'm going to use the term Chiquita Banana. <laughs> you know, you're very much getting a chick with a banana, right? It's, it's very much like that, you know, very much a chick with a, you know, for the ones who are like pre-op. And that kind of opens doors of sexual freedom to some degree. And so like, I know from having transitioned and having been in like relationships with women that it, straight sex is very mechanical. I mean, I know there's the exception, there's always the exception, but typically straight sex is very mechanical. So if you go, if it goes in one direction and the girl doesn't like it, oftentimes she'll call him out for being gay. You know, I've had girls say that to me, are you gay? You know, what's wrong with you? Why, why are you interested in this? Why is it going that way? Why are you so feminine? You know, I have, I've had girls come after me, girlfriends come after me about the way I kiss. I've had girlfriends come after me just, just being too girly in bed. Like just, I don't, I don't mean like wearing clothes or something. I mean just being too girly in bed. Um, and it's and it's very like restricting and confining. Whereas like, and, and it's very much like the man with where the, the one with the sheenness <laughs> has to, has to like do all the work, you know, whereas like the girl just like the sister or straight girl just like can just literally just starfish and anything above and beyond that. It's like, why are you a pervert? Why are you a deviant? Why are you, um, why are you being so gay or something along this line? Why would you want that? Are you gay? Kind of thing. You know, like the, there's this like guilt shame kind of thing that like straight guys go through you know just because sex is getting boring or sex isn't you know like why why just eat one potato chip right you know if you could split the whole bag with someone why not split the whole bag with someone why not just why would you just eat one and put it away Right, nobody does that. Well, people do do that, too. But. And so, like, I... Uh, and so, for me, like, with trans girls, because we have this past, we, we work extra hard, right? Like, we, we try to look as nice as possible. We try to look as sexy as possible. We try to do things, um, you know, we're the ones, you know, uh, with with straight sex, there's very much like the man is the active one, and the female is the passive one, right? So, with with us, it's like I think a lot of the time it's like we're we're doing the work to. I mean, in my case, it's often like okay, I'm trying to generate create a relationship here. Like I want, I want this to pan out into being a relationship. I don't want, like I don't, I'm not interested in having just random casual sex hookup kind of things. You know, like I'm, I think 
paper keeps kind of thing, right? I'm like Cassie. Uh, and so we, we will do go the extra mile, not just in bed, but like in the home or like on the street or something. And not to mention too, we're often very femme to begin with. And then you throw in estrogen, now we're like twice as femme a lot of the time. Um, and then you, you, you add in dysphoria, you know, then we're like into like compensating, you know. Um, I was watching uh, a scene with Nate and Cassie and uh, Nate's giving her a ride to the party. And there's this scene in it where like Cassie is, um, she has this beer bottle between her legs and beer is kind of the, the poison of choice here for this person. And, and at this time, I think Nate's avatar may be of um, a guy that Jules is with. It may represent a guy that Jules is with Whereas Cassie is still very much the avatar of Jules, Nate may be the avatar of a guy. Um, I think, I don't know. It's, it's so hard to tell because things just shift around so much that you can't actually say that it is like this or it is like that or nail something down. Whereas like with regular dramas, you can do that. You can't do that with this one. Uh, and there's this scene where um, the beer bottle kind of like, they hit a bump and beer gushes out. She's got it between the legs and it's kind of representing that she can eat a banana. And, and then she's like taking off her underwear and she's like leaning out the window. The windows in Euphoria represent uh, freedom, like a bird kind of flying away, having like, like someone like me having escaped being in like a male body and is now kind of like has a certain level of freedom. Um, whereas doors represent blockades or barriers. Hallways represent passing moments. Um, like Like Maddie would be a classic example of like a trans girl who's going the extra mile. Uh, but uh, I don't, there's a scene in it that reminds me of something in, in my life. Like I remember I had this on off boyfriend and, and I had very little experience at that point, like in terms of sexual experience. And he was giving me a drive to work one day and I don't think it really happened between us yet. We just sort of been talking and he stuck his hand down my shirt, like legit stuck his hand down my shirt. And I was in shock and we were driving at the same time. And then he was taking a dangerous turn. And, uh, and then suddenly I felt this like sensation that I had never felt before, like ever. I, and it was this massaging action that he was doing. And I literally just did this like, <laughs> I was like, it's like, oh. <laughs> I had never, I'd never experienced that before. It was something that was like, oh wow, what's this? <laughs> Oh, it, and it was like, I don't know, then suddenly I discovered what it was like to like actually have breast <coughs> in a sexual way, which I had never, <laughs> I, I don't know, it, it was suddenly, like this whole new like 
experience that I don't know how to describe it. You don't really know unless you've had breasts, but um, suddenly, then suddenly I had, like, I could see them, I knew they were there, you know, I knew what their purpose is on sister and women, or like, or it's like a, a sexual thing, and suddenly I was experiencing that for the first time. And, and then this other weird thing happened where it was like, suddenly I discovered at the same time that we get wet. You know, like you're not, it's just Cowper's fluid because we don't produ produce testosterone, but we get, we get wet like girls. That, that threw me for a loop. Um, like I had, when I got to work, I had to like stop in the bathroom and tidy up and then move on. And uh, yeah, so I think it's kind of exciting in a way for a guy to to have a girl who's like at this age, you know, like my the guy I was with was probably 15 years older than me. And it was like, I don't know, kind of like starting the whole process all over again, maybe. Like, can you imagine I'm not trying to be first here, but can you imagine at like 50, you know, dating a girl who is, you know, 15 years younger than you and uh, she's never like really had sex before or had sex that was, um, pleasurable or not complicated kind of thing. Uh, wow, I divulged a lot of information tonight. <laughs> I don't know if I should have, but... 